Hi, Pioneer Ridge Elementary students, staff, and families. I first of all want to tell you how much I miss you. I know this is a really strange time for all of us, and I miss you so much and wish that I could see you in the hallways and get your hugs and your smiles. But since we can't do that, one thing I want to say is I, I really appreciate all of our the work that our teachers are doing. I really love the fact that Mrs. Sasano is continuing to do announcements so that we can stay connected. Um, I really appreciate Ms. Whittafield doing Whittafield Wednesdays and sharing books with you. Um, all of our teachers have been working so hard, as well as our paraprofessionals, to keep the learning going. And we hope that you're all engaging in learning activities throughout this time. We know it's a big change, but we hope you're still continuing to show super behavior. Remember to be scholarly, united, proud, empathetic, and resilient during this time. Those are all important character traits to help us get through this crazy time. And even though we're at home with our families, so today I would like to read a story. Um, I'm going to do this now and then just from my home to yours and help you remember that um, I'm thinking about you and I miss you very much. The story today is called, Can Somebody Please Scratch My Back? And it's written by Jory John and illustrated by Liz Climo. It's a super cute story. Can somebody please scratch my back? I've got an itch. Can somebody please scratch my back? Anybody? Hey, Mr. Turtle, can you scratch my back? There's no way I'd reach. Will you try at least? I'd rather not. Arg. Hey, Mr. Crocodile, can you scratch my back? Absolutely. Blink, blink. Not a good idea. I've got to go. Arg. Hey, Mr. Snail, can you scratch my back? Sure. You're making it feel all slimy. Well, you're making me feel all elephanty. Arg. Hey, Mr. Hippo, can you scratch my back? I suppose. You're just bumping into me. Oh, stop it. Arg. Hey, Mr. Sloth, can you scratch my back? Yes, of course. You're taking too long. I'm going as fast as I can. Never mind. Arg. Hey, Mr. Snake, can you scratch my back? I don't have any hands. Oh, I forgot. I can use my fangs if you want. No, that's okay. Hey, Mr. Bunny, can you? I overheard you from before and I'm happy to oblige. How's that? That's not my back. I'm sure you're mistaken. Get off my trunk, Bunny. You are rude. Arg! 
Arg, this itch is the worst. I need help fast. We can help. Are we helping? No, you're just tickling me. <laughs> Please stop moving. <laughs> you're squishing our tails. That's it, we're leaving. Come back, meerkats. Oh, I have an itch on my back and it will never be scratched. I just don't know what to do. Sob. Do I have to do everything myself around here? Trump, Trump, Trump. Howdy, a sloth told me all about your itch. It sounds dreadful. Perhaps I can help. I'm quite pokey. Thoughts? Scoop. Ah, oh, so much better. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Off you go. Yikes, gosh, sheesh, whoa, eesh, oof. Finally, someone who, somebody who was actually helpful. And then the poor guy says help. I'm stuck. Now my stomach itches. Can somebody please scratch my stomach? Anyone? I'm on my way. Oh, thank goodness. Uh oh, look who it is. It's the sloth. Almost there. Sigh. Cute story. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be reading stories from time to time, and Mrs. Sasano will be sharing them on the announcements. I hope you all are doing well and take care of yourselves. Bye.